When you have narrowing in your heart arteries, the procedure basically is done to eliminate the blockage and increase the flow to your heart. And the way we do it is we go through the groin and obtain a catheter and then advance the catheter to the heart arteries and advance the stent where we break the blockage and enlarge the artery and get better flow to the heart muscle. The heart is a very unique organ in the body that has four chambers and four gates and we have four coronaries. This is the right coronary artery and this is the front artery called the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery and from here called the left main artery. And the coronary stents are metal tubes inserted inside the coronaries and the size of the stent not more than three millimeter in diameter and they vary in lengths according to the legion and they can be from 15 to 20 millimeter in length. The stent is mounted on a balloon and this is the delivery system of the stent where the balloon is inside the stent and basically you put the stent that's mounted on the balloon and you deploy the balloon and then the stent will completely open and oppose against the wall of the artery. Basically, stents in general, when they are inserted, it's to improve the patient's quality of life, to improve their angina, which is the chest pain they have, at the same time to get them to a better life and quality of life. Uh, patients who come in with emergencies, patients who come in with acute heart attack, they feel immediate relief of their symptoms once we do the procedure. And patients who have this ongoing angina or chest discomfort, they get much more better relief of their angina and enhance their quality of life after a stent implantation. This is a demonstration of the coronaries, and this is the left anterior descending artery, and this is the catheter that is inserted inside the coronary artery, and we see here the left anterior descending artery, and there is significant narrowing in the mid portion of the left anterior descending artery and the first diagonal branch, and this is the wires that they are inserted inside the coronaries. This is the stent that is inserted inside the coronaries, and this is before we deploy the stent. This is the stent that's deployed now, and this is the balloon that's inside the stent. And this is the final image after the stent deployment, where we can see here how the lumen of the artery is completely enlarged and equal to the same lumen of the arteries. Definitely there is more blood flow here, and there's better circulation to the heart muscle. In general, patients feel better the same day or the next day, and they can feel it immediately on the procedure day. This procedure is uh, number one procedure performed in the world. In the United States, we perform almost one million procedures across the country, and there are almost 250,000 stents inserted yearly in the United States. This is the new stents that they are in the market for the last five years and these stents have better longevity and less chances of narrowing. However, you have to take a lot of blood thinner when you have the stents inserted. This is very rewarding, and especially in the setting of an emergency or acute heart attack, patients have complete relief and they leave the hospital within 72 hours and they go back to their daily activities and they resume their life. That's the reason why population is aging, because advancement in the treatment of coronary artery disease and stent implantation, we treat coronaries and patients have longer longevity and they live longer. <laughs>